On tomorrow's show from the new film Demolition, Naomi Watts will be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and from the series Rogue, Ashley Green will be here. And, hey, guess who my co-host is tomorrow? My baby daddy, Mark Consuelos. <laughs> Although, truth be told, I said that about you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of our favorite Emmy Award winning funny ladies. Please welcome the beautiful and talented Melissa McCarthy. Restraining order. <laughs> Not today, I'm such, my I'm friend. I'm such a huge fan of yours. <laughs> Likewise. I, oh I, I picture the two of you in a movie together. Me too. Let's make yeah. it happen. Me make too. it happen. You guys both write I your pull own pull something films. out and like, right. yeah. Do you mind if we just watch you read this? Is that cool? <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'll audition right here. Now, ben, ben was here yesterday. I know. He, I know. And you found. I have to say, you found footage of his first job that I, I don't think I'd ever. Saw before where right. he's oh my there god, he is. there he is, there he is. Oh wow, he says that that's a job you got him, you yes, got him that job. I was the production, I can't remember, I was either the production manager or production coordinator on the Weird Al, uh, Weird Al Yankovic show, <laughs> and I remember calling him, being like. I don't want to. I don't want to sound showy, but I, I can get you on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you on the tube. All you need to do is come in and stick your head through grass. He was like, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think he and another one of my friends did it. But I was like, I don't know if I ever saw the end results. The scene that yesterday. I was well, like, listen, oh, my God. we are like, we are How like proud were you? CIA so operatives proud. here. Yeah, we were, we were determined to find that. Because <laughs> he's like, you'll never find it. I kind of want to like get a, a I want a picture yeah. of that and it's frame pretty it. good. Done. And just put it somewhere where Ben will see done it. Yeah. Done. In the bathroom, I think. <laughs> oh, so you guys, met, really you guys met at the Groundlings in 1998. Um, I want to ask you a question. Who's funnier? Oh, Ben. Okay, because yeah. he says you're no. funnier. He's just nicer, so he'll say that he's funnier. Right. He's he's super smart and funny and a lot stranger. Yeah. <laughs> There's, 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 I mean, we're both pretty odd, so yeah. that's, he really, uh, he wins the trophy. But now, he's just really, he's a really funny guy. You've been working together for all these years. No. Does it ever feel like too much togetherness? No. I mean, it's kind of, uh, I think it's like the big, oh, oh. I like him. <laughs> um, no, it's how, you know, it's how we met. It's why we became such good friends, and it's just always seemed really easy like just it there's a writing weird bits or, or even when it's like this isn't working there's never any tension it's like okay right. something's odd something's odd how do we fix it and if i don't like a and he doesn't like b we're like oh like let's go to c like there's no we've bombed so many times together on stage right. that there's right. no there's no more pride left in either we're just right. empty shells <laughs> Right. So it's kind of good because it's not like, well, I wrote that line, it has to be in. So if A doesn't work and B doesn't work, then you, do you turn to the girls? Like, your, do your daughters become, <sighs> like, girls, what you got? They, no, they don't Mom they and don't dad think, need a pump-up joke. They will pitch jokes. They find nothing we do particularly funny. Right. Like, I'll come home if I've been at work all day and literally if they're, you know, if, if, they're, if they watch usually, like, one little show a night can't get them to even look at me right. and I will like dance in front of them yeah. and run the TV like I'm like I'm killing it for yeah. you here yeah. right so like this is what I do professionally they're like we'd love you to just move get out of the way. I was like it's a funny bit and then I like go back in and try something else Ben's like now you're desperate I get, I get a lot actually... of oh dad dad stop <laughs> stop There's just, no... just stop you're, you're embarrassing yourself just stop oh no yeah. that's what I, yeah. I've gotten the first few like the eye rolls. Like, oh, you guys, <laughs> this one. You guys, just you wait, both of you, just wait. I'm just, I'm bracing you. It yeah. Boy, I'm going gonna, gonna to be heartbroken the first time. They're like, can you just stop the car here? 
Yeah, like when I get the first, like, can you let me out here? Right. Because I don't want anyone car. to see me getting, like, yeah. when that happens, I'm going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I won't be cool about it. I won't be like, I'm going to give you your space. I'm right. just going to cry. Right. And then start beating the, then you, put on, you put on the cats in the cradle. No, what you have to do is you have, you have to, like, burst into the classroom and just start breakdancing. I mean, like, it's like, uh, oh, sure. sure. For sure. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to find out about Ahead on and you're back with Melissa McCarthy, star of the boss. Um, so we were talking a little bit about your uh, celebrity crush, your latest celebrity crush. I, I do. I always have a new one, and it's not as creepy as it, it sounds, or, or maybe it is. But uh, I got pretty freaked out to meet uh, Pete Dinklage. Oh, who's and in I the thought movie. well because like you think. On screen, there literally is, it's like he has his own lighting pad. Like, there's just something about him that I always feel like, right. is he always on a dolly, like, slightly moving <laughs> right, towards right. you? Like, he, 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 just he looms. Oh. Yeah. yeah, like, see, he does loom, and, like, right. meeting him, it doesn't really go away. Right, right. And so I is always he on get, a dolly when you meet him? <laughs> in my mind, yeah. In your mind. I'm right. always like, is it, And do you hear the Game of Thrones music? Like, uh, come no, but did we sing it all? <laughs> Which, by the 55th time, he was like, yeah, I, I know the song. <laughs> I know, and Kristen Bell Wait, is... I want to hear you say it. Uh, 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 but I'm, I was more upset, I mean, because he's, he's just super cool. He's a really extremely funny guy, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, everybody was kind of a little undone by him. Kristen Bell is m truly... Uh, it's too much. It's too much. Her her questioning of Game of Thrones, right. her weird knowledge of backstories, and like knowing blogs. She's like, well, so and so said on April seventeenth that Tyrion. And you're like, Dragon you're Slayer saying... one fifty one. <laughs> he was. She was asking him stuff, and he's like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Right. <laughs> I've never gone that deep on into it. the script. Right. Yeah. yeah. But everybody was like, everybody, every department was just a little a little undone by Pete. And then the day he left, everybody was really mad at Ben and I. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, which he was going to do another film. Right. Oh. And yet everybody was... But you was, got blamed. We got blamed, and I had to keep saying, like, we're not firing Pete. Like, if we want to <laughs> want to be mad at somebody, Pete's leaving us. Right. So if I, right. really... But nobody could be mad at Pete. Get mad at, get right. mad at Dinklage, mad not me. And they were just like... You started calling him Dinklage when you wanted to, to break it when off. When I wanted people to turn their anger Dinklage. away from me, I was like, it's Dinklage's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work at all. Yeah. They just moped the rest of the day, and they're like, well, he's gone. We may as well just stop the movie. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so in front of the whole other cast, I'm like, we're all right here. We can hear you. <laughs> hey, how do you feel? I mean, I'm, I feel very sad about this. I'm not sure, you know, I, I guess... I, I have, should be grateful for six seasons, but Mike and Molly is coming to an end. How do you feel about it? Uh, did I just break the news to the audience? <laughs> no. I'm I'm pretty, I was pretty heartbroken. We, uh, we finished shooting a couple months ago, yeah. and it was just, oh, yay! I just saw the whole group. Yeah. Um, I wasn't clapping for myself. That was a lot weirder than I meant it to be. Yeah. <laughs> My photo! <laughs> My photo! <laughs> um, <laughs> We, I was shocked when we found out, like yeah. really surprised. It was something about that group of people from day one, we just kind of literally morphed into one unit. We watched our kids grow up. And uh, the last three shows, like it was just a sea of tears. Yeah. yeah. Like it, if one would go, we would all go. And at one point somebody's like, you guys are just coming in the kitchen to get coffee. You can't, you can't be both sobbing. be weeping. Like, if somebody would go and it's like, milk? And we would just be crying. So he was like, okay, um, real creepy in front of an audience. <laughs> Stay tuned for the saddest the comedy on television. Like, I thought this was a sitcom. <laughs> it really was. It really was. We were so sad. So we had to be like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's do the show but and you'll cry always, later. I mean, you'll always be close. I mean, that's the thing always. about... We're texting each yeah. other constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably too much. Billy probably wants me to stop texting him. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to, Billy. I love him, by the way. He's uh, spectacular. He's, he is really special. He's a person. spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a gentleman, and a great dad, and just a really funny, smart guy. And I, he's like the brother I never had. Like I just yeah. immediately had a. We just immediately. And you guys clicked. to be able to bring the reality to that to the sitcom world as well. To be able to reach for the jokes and get the jokes, but also to be as real as you oh, guys. Oh, thanks. Very, well, that's it, our writers. Yeah. yeah. It is the 
Jack in the Box. I knew it was coming and I still jumped. I like a little bit of violence in my comedy. I have to say, I always like something that's jarring. Too, that's too good. So that's the boss where you play Michelle Darnell. You just got out of prison. Like, I did. Uh, I had a little, white collar, little yeah. insider training. I right. thought I'd get it all back. And I uh, did not and find myself literally having nowhere to go. And so I go back to uh, my old assistant, Kristen Bell, and just kind of show up with my bags, and she has to take me in kind of as a pity move, and then I don't really leave. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's pretty great. We start this brownie company, and we kind of figure out that, like, the Girl Scouts kind of have free child labor. And my yeah. character thinks that's pretty cool. <laughs> Which once we start looking into that, we're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on a second. Could this work for us in life, too? Um, I have a present for you, but before we give you your present, what? I just want to mention I love this dress so much. Oh, thank and you. you told me this is one of your dresses. It is! I love it. It's, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love, I love prints, and it, the print makes me happy. And yeah, it's from, I think this is from Summer. So You're so soon. talented. You're really yeah, super talented. And beautiful. you mentioned wanting Crazy. something. And oh, we, my God! We need to please around here. Wait, that was like a magic trick. Yeah, magic trick. Magic trick. That's oh, yeah! If I'm... If I'm... Ben okay. Montaigne is creepy enough. If You're I'm not getting one. one. This You're could be getting one. one. This, I believe, is a frame from my dressing room. They no. just ripped my children out of the picture, but that's fine. That's no, fine. Not only do I think you should put that above your toilet, I would like that above my toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make that. Oh, it's like he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Like he's what? He's bleeding. Why is he bleeding? I don't know. Oh, I, I took on a horse to get through that.